another clip for your organic garden, and we're here with Farmer Jay out in West Delray, who's a California certified organic farmer, and we have some questions from our, our readers and from our members. So the first one is Amelia Arrington, who asks, how can I organically treat for white fly? What beneficials eat them? And how can I attract the beneficials to distract the beasts that could spoil a harvest? Well, first, with, like with any insect, I want to figure out why they're there. And white flies are mostly attracted to what I call, like a, a, a for lack of better words, a fat or obese plant. Something that has, has too much food within it and is not able to process it. And this happens when you plant something in the shade. So if you were to put a squash plant or a uh, pepper plant or tomato plant where it's not getting enough sunlight, it's not able to process all the food that it's taking up, it's going to become fat. And that's what those plants are attracted to. And also, um, if you have too much nitrogen, so if you have too much nitrogen in the soil, the plant has, has uh, exceeded the amount of nutrition that's in there. Like a lot of people dump on these fertilizer bags with big nitrogen numbers, the first number of the three that are listed. And something like that is going to cause this rampant growth because what has to happen is the plant has to absorb more water to dilute the nitrogen. So you get a stretched growth, which is weak. So those, those bugs are there for a reason to put that plant out of its misery. So most times, you can just correct it by planting it in the sun. Otherwise, I would use a, some sort of uh, like leonardite or some sort of coral calcium crush so you accomplish two things at once. You feed the plant and make it stronger and you also can kill them by dusting it. You have to get it up under the leaves like a diatomaceous earth would work as well. So something like that is what I would do. Thank you.